Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. As you can see, we are in the beautifully moody Moonlight Falls, which came with the expansion pack Supernatural. And if you didn't know, this is one of my favorite worlds to build in. So, as you can see, in the top left-hand corner, I've already spent some money. Why I've already spent some money? Well, let me tell you what we were doing today if the title of this video hasn't already given it away. I am attempting to build a true starter, 16,500 simoleons, and it's going to be red. So let me show you why I have already spent some moolah. So here we are on the lot. It's a 20 by 20 lot, like I said, in Moonlight Falls. I've built this at 204 Lakeside Drive. There was a house that was here. It was an unoccupied house and I bulldozed it. It was a little cabin and I have laid out the things that I would like to use in this build. Now, as you can see, most of them are pretty cheap. This hurts my heart but I have splurged on some things. So I have already spent 5,365 simoleons and I've only got 11,000-ish left to play with. That's going to include obviously the cost of the build, windows, doors, wall coverings, floor coverings, the lot. So this is already an uphill battle in my eyes and it's gonna be a pretty sparse build but hopefully it's going to be cute. So I'm going to move all of this furniture to the edge of the lot and we are going to get started building a cute little true red starter. So pause the video right now. Let me know down below the comments if you think I can achieve this. And also, I'm going to try to keep this to a limited pack build so you can see things from Showtime, Supernatural, obviously base game, and then I have used, I think the... I think the stuff pack that I'm going to use is Outdoor Living because I really love that E.210 standing laundry tub. So that's the stuff pack that I have chosen. But everything else is going to be either base game, Supernatural, or Showtime. So fingers crossed, hopefully I can do this. But without further ado, let's go. Gone are the days when it would take me days, weeks to build a house. I think I may just stick with these little starters because I can whip them out pretty quick. This is another build where I just sat down at my computer and I built on the fly. And look, it's almost finished the exterior. That's how quick it is. I think I actually had about two and a half hours of raw footage and then sped up. We are just at under 18 minutes. So it was really quick for me and I'm really proud of how this cute little little red starter turned out and I just love her and she's got great views of the Moonlight Falls River there in the background you can see it on the right hand side and I really wanted to take advantage of those views in the back from the lower deck and you will see that that's why I have put the stairs facing the way that I do just so you walk down that one step and you're facing that beautiful view in the back so why is this red? There is a perfectly good reason for this. I don't think I have ever built a completely red house. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. However, if you remember my last build, which was the almost starter, I put it up for download on Tumblr, obviously also linked that from Twitter, and Happy Lemon on Twitter actually renovated the exterior, and I think the interior as well, and, you, and is using it in her gameplay and she made it red and I was like oh my god this is so beautiful why have I never built a red house turns out she usually builds yellow houses and so she wanted to change it up a little bit and do a red house so that is how I came up with the little red starter made it red was all because of happy lemon and I'm so glad that I did because it's just super cute now you can see in the back that I had put a second deck on the upper floor and that would have been, that's where the bedroom is, the one bedroom. Um, I actually ended up getting rid of that upper deck because I didn't have enough money. <laughs> 
So there's a lot of chopping and changing that goes on. Most everything that's in that upper left corner at the, the moment does go into the house, but things like the dining table, I had to replace it because it was too expensive. I really wanna use that dining table in another build though, because I don't think I have ever used it in any of my builds. I usually go with the, is it the sun up dining table? Um, I usually use that in my houses. And now I really wanna use this one. So the next build that I do, I'm gonna try and use that because I don't think the next build that I do is going to be a limited pack build or a starter build. It's not gonna have a budget. I'm just gonna go buck wild and just do my thing. So I'm laying down all of the flooring in the house. It's not a massive house, obviously, because I needed to keep the price down. So Little Red Starter is one bedroom, one bathroom, and then obviously you've got your kitchen, which is an eating kitchen, so your dining table's in there, and also a little living room. And then in terms of sort of skills and things to do, off camera, I did place a couple of plants outside on the side of the house, on the right side of the house. So this would suit a sim that likes to garden. You can obviously expand the garden. Um, I did obviously put an art easel because I don't know, there's just, I always have an art easel on lots for my Sims, just because I feel like my Sims are always going to be artsy fartsy. Um, but I just thought with the garden, and then it's a nice kitchen, it's not a massive kitchen, but with the kitchen, maybe they wanna be in the culinary career, which is a career that I always seem to, to go for. So this house would suit, in my mind, a Sim that's kind of likes to be secluded, peaceful, quiet, kind of off the grid. I do end up placing a bicycle because I just didn't want to ruin this pathway, which I'm changing right now. I didn't want to ruin it with a car, but you could place a car a car parking spot down there. There's plenty of room for that. Um and yeah, this sim, in my mind, likes to bike around town, uh, likes to garden, loves to read. There's a couple of bookcases in here, which are the cheapest bookcases in the game. That really hurt my heart, didn't really like that. Um, and yeah, so there's no television, although I did try. I tried so incredibly hard to get a television in here, but I just couldn't afford it. So yeah, it was a struggle having to go back, cut things out, um, but the things that I really loved, I was able to keep in, like the fridge from Supernatural, which I think gives you seven hunger, and then also the bed from Showtime, and that gives you seven um, energy. And so that's why I chose those two packs, was specifically for the fridge from Supernatural and specifically the bed from Showtime. I just think for the price of the bed and the fridge, you get good return on investment. So why not try my darndest to get those in? And I did. And I did keep that love seat as well. And what else did I keep? I kept some of the chairs, but obviously I had to get rid of that table. And I had to use those lodge lights, which are from base game, which are the cheapest lights that you can get. And I really don't like them, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, when you get close and you're actually playing in The Sims, the lights fade away. So it's like they're never there. Um, what else? Ooh, the kitchen. So the kitchen is really an interesting layout. Uh, you still have your golden triangle there, but I don't think I've ever separated the stove away from the sink and the fridge like that. And now that I'm looking at this, I think it was kind of silly to make that feature wall behind the um, stove out of wood because that's a fire hazard, but it's The Sims, so it's fine. Except maybe it's not fine because when I had my, my testers go in and upgrade the um, objects on the house, I did improved meal quality instead of fireproof. <laughs> so that could be a fire hazard. Can I do that? <laughs> but we can forgive it, right? Because it's cute, I think. I don't know. 
Um, but this has been play tested, upgraded where possible. I think everything else, obviously, apart from the stove, has been upgraded to unbreakable. So your sink's not gonna break, your really cheap shower upstairs isn't going to break, um, but your stove may catch on fire. <laughs> Sorry about that. So anyway, how are we? What is new? Tell me what's going on in your world. It's been about two weeks since my last upload. So what has happened in your world in those two weeks? I can tell you what's happened in my world. We had a dumping of snow. If you follow me on Twitter, I did post a couple of pictures, but I will um, put, pop up on screen um, another picture. I went to bed and it was a light dusting and then I woke up and it was a complete winter wonderland. It was so nostalgic. It was so beautiful. I loved it. It just reminded me of being a kid and having a snow day except I was working and I really wanted to go outside and play which I eventually did on the Friday. I was able to go outside and have a little bit of a snowball fight but before that I had to dig my car out because I had to go to the shop and it took an hour and a half to get my car off the drive and it was just like is this really worth it should I walk but I was like I was determined once I had started I was like I just need to finish this I need to see it through but it took an hour and a half to get my car like to go five feet off the drive it was nuts but it was beautiful. Now it is Sunday and the snow is melting and it's back to reality. No more snow days um, unless we get another cold snap, but I don't think that's going to happen. But it was it was just beautiful. It was so lovely and, and cozy. And it's, it just is one of those times where I really, really wish that I had a fireplace just to get all cozied up. And I wish that I had Sims on a laptop and I could have just sat in front of the fire playing Sims on a laptop like I used to do when I was a kid. So that was kind of the highlight of my weekend. I absolutely loved it. It was a beautiful sight. And now you guys are going to see me struggle to get a television in this house and I just couldn't do it. And that's when I decided, I don't know if I placed the easel upstairs yet, but that's when I decided that, right, this person, this Sim that lives here is just going to be into their music and their books and gardening and cooking and they just want sort of a simple life they're not they, they like to be outdoors um so they don't need a big space and that's how they ended up with the little red starter and they can afford it straight from Cass. i'm actually really proud of myself i've got this massive smile on my face because i did it i achieved it and for it being full of really cheap items except for some i mean obviously that love seat isn't cheap but the majority of stuff in here is cheap. I mean, I've got base game cabinets, those country cabinets that I really just don't like. But for all the cheapness in here, super cute, super proud of it. Is anybody going to play in this? Please let me know down below in the comments that my efforts haven't been wasted. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so we're just going through and doing some recoloring. I'm using this stencil remover mod, which is my favorite mod. I think I've used that since I've found that mod. I've used it in every single one of my builds because just some of the patterns that are on some of the objects just need to go. Like I took the pattern off of the, the counters. I took the pattern off of the those canisters and I've made them yellow polka dot and yeah now you can see that I've got rid of that lovely dining table and I've just gone for this base game table I actually and I also switched out the rug that was under the dining table because I don't know if anybody peeped it but that rug was actually from university life so I had to get rid of it um but I am pretty darn sure that everything else in this house is base game supernatural showtime or from outdoor living. There's not much that's from outdoor living. I'm trying, oh yeah, it was because of the sink that I used in the bathroom. That's why I chose outdoor living. Um, I just love that sink, it's so cool. And it works as a standalone sink and it's perfect. Another thing that I changed, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell from this speed build, is that upstairs I did actually reduce the size of the bathroom. So I think 
it is two by three, which is smaller than what I normally would do. But if you've only got one or two Sims in this house, you'll be perfectly fine. Um, yeah, so we're just going through recoloring, taking off those hideodorous patterns that are there and I'm making my, well, I'm not making my own, but I'm in the themed um, category and I'm just repurposing the um, paintings that I'm using because if you find the cheapest one and then you use the stencil remover, you can make it anything. And that is the power of create a style, which I love and hate in both equal measures. So we have got about three more minutes until we get to the screenshots. I've got a little bit of a cold, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna love you and leave you with some music. But just first, look at that sink. Is it not the cutest sink in the world? If you don't have outdoor living, just get it for the sink. Look at it. It's beautiful. I love it. Anywho, interrupting myself as per usual. I'm going to love you and leave you guys with some music. But if you enjoyed this, make sure to do all those cool interweb things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you've got that bell ding-dong to be notified whenever I do upload. But for now, I'm gonna skeet, skeet, skedaddle. Don't be a pump stranger now, guys. 